Hey, what's going on guys? John here and just recently we've gotten a ton of information regarding Project Highland and what we should be expecting within the interior and the exterior of the vehicle. All really exciting news of what's to come and what you should be seeing in the design studio in about a month or two. Now I would typically say take all these with a grain of salt, however this comes from a very reliable source. This is employees with inside of the work environment and they passed the information along. Now. Tesla Scope did put out a specific thread on just this so if you guys want to check it out go ahead onto Twitter and you guys should be able to see what's good on there. Now moving forward from that leak there is a lot of hope that we are going to be seeing a lot more prototypes and a lot more vehicles coming on the road in nearby Fremont and Austin. There is possibly even a chance that in Shanghai we should be seeing a lot of hardware for vehicles as well as the Project Highlands. Now just our luck over the weekend there has been more sightings of these projects. Project Highland Unicorn vehicles. They are completely covered up. There are some vehicles that have been captured with the whole back end completely covered up because they want to hide the interior of the vehicle, what changes are inside, the new seats, the new hatchback design, and even the new screen that's coming with the Model 3 at the back. This is going to open up a lot of different capabilities that we didn't have before. This means that you're able to watch Netflix, you're able to control your own heated seats, and you're able to adjust the front passenger seat when you want a lot more leg room in the back just like the Model S and X. Now that shot alone was very interesting because it shows us that Tesla is trying to keep this tip top secret and that means that they don't want any of it to leak although things have already leaked. But a more recent one that just came up is the one that we are seeing up on the screen right here. It shows that the vehicle overall has changed on the exterior. Before we go on to the good stuff here with hardware 4, let's talk about the exterior changes that we obviously see in this picture right off the bat. So clearly this is a performance vehicle with the red brake calipers, but the new rims here, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of personally. You guys let me know in the comments below if this is better than the Uber Turbine wheels or is this a downgrade but this looks like to be maybe the new 18 or 19 inch wheels and possibly even the 20 or 21 inch wheel that's coming up in the future this is definitely nothing like the track pack of the model 3 performance this is somewhere right in the middle and personally i like the black out design compared to the silver designs but in all honesty it could just be some kind of wheel that they're testing right now and it's not going to come into production anyways all right so if we swing around to the back side here you're gonna notice the obvious changes here the new tail lights that we have been talking about this is a mock-up I'll throw up on the screen right here looks pretty much like this looks pretty aggressive looks a lot better than the current design although the current ones aren't that bad either but it seems like they're going for more this new Honda Civic vibe or more of the Audi vibe a lot of tail lights are looking a lot better nowadays so I wouldn't say that the Tesla one is specifically awesome they're all pretty awesome but I do like the new Tesla tail lights here they're pretty aggressive in my eyes it seems like now they're starting to integrate the tail light the brake light and the reverse light all into one little square area and that definitely makes it a lot more cost efficient and at the same time also give a really refreshed look all right so i don't want to drag this video on for too too long so let's just swing our way right to the front here and let's take a look at what we've been wanting to hear about this is the new hardware 4.5 camera so right at the bottom of the front bumper here you're gonna notice that there is a cutout and that is done intentionally there is no way that Tesla is gonna keep it open up like that and this definitely looks like the new cutout for the additional camera in hardware 4.5 I know I keep dubbing it 4.5 but if you guys can remember from hardware 2 to hardware 2.5 there was a middle ground where they did add an additional camera on the interior of the vehicle although this wasn't a full jump this was a leading jump up to hardware 3 so the same situation would apply here really we had hardware 4 and they're not making leaps and bounds to hardware 5 it's just going to be right in the middle where they're going to add those additional cameras making it 0.5 really i think i'm the only one calling it hardware 4.5 but it would be pretty cool if tesla decides to come out and name it hardware 4.5 i'd be the first one to call it out so hopefully i get some kind of recognition for that maybe not but uh, let's talk about the radar in hardware 4.5 here and that is going to be coming with the phoenix that's already inside of the model
model S and X, and that's going to be used mainly for redundancy now that it is a little bit more high quality than it previously was. I really doubt that they're going to be bringing back the ultrasonic sensors, so they're going to be needing redundancy when the camera does get blocked up and it should revert to the radar. Now, in terms of the front bumper camera, this is going to be a wide angle fisheye lens, so it's going to take care of the cross traffic for full self driving. At the same time, it's going to take over the park assist feature for Tesla Vision. You guys know right now the state of Tesla Vision, how the front blind spot there is really just approximating and guessing. So things are wobbly, things are wonky, and things are not going to work very well. This is likely going to be what we're dealing with until the additional cameras arrive. Oh yeah, and if we are lucky enough, now finally there is enough cameras in all areas of the vehicle to work out a system with a bird's eye view. So we're going to be able to get what other vehicles are getting at the moment where you're going to be able to pan around the whole vehicle and see what's around you in real time. So yeah, from the looks of it in this picture here and all the spy shots that have been coming out and the ones that's going to be coming out in the near future, we are probably going to be getting it in this vehicle. The Model 3 is going to be the first vehicle to get the hardware 4.5 with additional cameras and then it's slowly going to iterate into the newer versions of the Model S and X. The Cybertruck already has it. You guys know from the pictures we've been seeing at the Peterson Museum and at all the unveiling events. The last vehicle here that is really going to be waiting on the sideline until a full redesign is going to be the Model Y. The reason is they're not going to change the whole production line of the current bumper design just to add that additional camera. They're going to wait until the full redesign where the whole thing is going to be integrated inside with the bumper. So if you guys are waiting out and you're worried about not getting the latest tech for your Model Y, I'd say hold out at least until September of next year. I know it's a long wait, but you're going to be getting the better product, the best product, and it's going to future proof you at least four to five years to come. The best thing to do right now is just wait and see what the Project Highland vehicle comes out with and by the time when you pick up your Model Y, you're probably going to even be getting better tech than the current Model 3s. So yeah, this is really exciting. It's leading our way up until the design studio gets updated. I'm going to be keeping you guys as updated as possible on this. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification. And if you guys haven't watched my previous video yet on all the leaks on the interior, exterior, make sure you guys check it out. I'm going to try to make a playlist specific to the Highland and the upcoming designs. So click on that and watch it. This should wrap it up for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.